then there are like uh, uh, two major uh, focus areas that an IQAC can do. Uh, number one, uh, IQAC can focus on imbibing a quality culture. And the quality culture uh, is basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, imbibing a quality culture by having a functional IQAC at the department level and at the college level. And, uh, you know, uh, spreading the, uh, the the word for quality, organizing a lot of events that improve the uh, teaching, learning and uh, teaching uh, process, academic system, improving the research and innovation, improving the uh, student activities, improving the administrative processes. So IQAC can organize seminars, workshops, uh, conferences, training programs, software demos that help all these improve quality. IQAC can also have some feedback system, not the feedback of the faculty, but feedback on student life. You know, they periodically get feedback on hostels, student life, the canteen, the mess, the security. I mean, there are, you know, the place where the students have interface with the college, all those things have to be improved. And definitely you will get uh, uh, these kind of things. IQAC can involve itself in all the uh, institutional functions proactively i told you everything and anything it can do maybe except a few activities that may not be in the domain of the iqac like i told you administrative audit um, 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 financial audit those kind of things maybe no uh, iqac may not be able to proactively engage it uh, so uh, and iqac can also share ge generate and disseminate good practices best practices it can champion uh, certain good practices see for example you know, uh, today uh, there is definitely a very major role for uh, students to become employable. You need students to be very employable. Uh, it's a very important dire need that we need employability. So IQAC can champion having a life skill course as a value added course. If you are a, a affiliated college and you cannot change your curriculum, IQAC can take the initiative of having a value added courses for improving the employability and that your college can take that lead and it can be generated and shown as a best practice like that IQAC can look for uh, best practices and champion these best practices in the institution. The second aspect that uh, IQAC can focus is the measurement, monitoring, analysis and reporting of the uh, quality. IQAC can be the single stop, the single point of contact uh, with respect to all the uh, activities of the statutory body like UGC, the uh, ACT, the regulatory body like AICT, the ranking bodies, the accreditation body like NAC and NBA, all that IQAC can be the custodian of the documents, the custodian of the data, can be the single nodal agency, the single point of contact, all that IQAC can do. And IQAC can have an, in, a mechanism to uh, collect the data, uh, and evidences, collate uh, all the data and evidences, consolidate everything and submit these things. And one good thing is because you have all the information with you, everything is there with you. You can look for patterns, you can learn for trends, you can look for benchmarks, you can find out the pattern, how the thing has improved, how which are the trends that are positive, which are the trends that are negative, and you can report to the management through the principle that these issues are there. Student uh, scholarships have come down. That will affect us next year in the next NAC in, uh, or NAR of ranking. Uh, research papers are increasing very good, but research funding has come down. What do we do? How can we strategize to improve the, these uh, uh, these things? So like that, IQAC can play a proactive role, you know, in uh, uh, focusing on that. Uh, student award sports has, uh, you know, uh, reduced a lot. Uh, sports have uh, reduced a lot uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, the sports have reduced a lot and uh, how do we have uh, promote the sports activity uh, one minute uh, uh, sports activity uh, etc uh, is um, uh, uh, how the trend has come down uh, and so on so these things can be, um, um, you know, can be really uh, improved. Uh, you can give this. And then I also told you the IQAC can play an ro important role in, um, the IQAC can play an important role in uh, capturing all the, you already have all the data and the evidences. So you know the veracity of the data, the veracity of the evidence, and then 
you can employ a content writer and a graphics designer and have a kind of a, a newsletter that you can send it to all your stakeholders and this will definitely uh, improve the uh, career uh, the uh, improve the um, what should i say uh, the uh, perception of your college so these are the things that an iqac can do actually i already showed told you that uh, the iqac is engaged in all the institutional functions so actually i am almost at the end of it and i thought i will uh, just uh, share uh, uh, you know uh, share one uh, aspect of uh, uh, an iqac which already i mentioned you uh, which we have done in a very uh, successful way uh, which we can use actually we have done in a very very uh, successful way um, uh, wherein we have shown a lot of results so i have actually made it like a best practice of uh, iqac and this i have also shown it as a best practice of iqac for this campus um, and uh, basically what has happened is the context is that uh, the uh, already there is an iqac that has been functioning for almost 10 years and this iqac uh, has been made primarily doing nac uh, coordination subsequently we have expanded this iqac to focus on not only nac and uh, nba but also nar of ranking so what was decided is the internal quality assurance cell office was merged with the uh, rankings and international and national rankings nodal office so this is a very um, uh, uh, good thing in the sense that you know all the activities are dovetailed together all the rankings are because ultimately everything is in the data the, the, the you know they say you no know, devil is in the details uh, all the data is available with the iqac all the uh, evidences are available with the iqac why not have the rankings also come under the umbrella of the iqac to which that process the international and national rankings nodal office in our university was merged with the iqac and a lot of activities have been dovetailed together so what we decided is you know we found out that you know every in, i told you we are a very com, uh, big in university we have six campuses now uh, there is a campus in coimbatore is the headquarters there is another campus in chennai which we started last year we have two campuses in kerala one in cochin which is the health care campus and one another campus in amrutapuri which is near kollam we have a, a couple of campuses coming up in uh, already in there in in my mysore and bangalore so it's, it's a very uh, geographically dis uh, distributed university and every college is more or less in that sense autonomous with re regard to the day to day functioning so we were finding out as the iqac uh, chair and uh, i found out at uh, that time i was the vice chair i found out that individual colleges were going for various rankings and many of them were magazine rankings you know like outlook and we can careers 360 and we were finding out that the results were not as encouraging as we expected so we made a suggestion to the university administration that you know we as a iqac we will identify we have identified two international rankings and one national ranking the nar of ranking as the only uh, thing that is and i already told you that all these magazine rankings have almost disappeared after the nirf came in my last presentation so this ranking office was combined and this nodal office of the iqac and the rankings were combined and uh, we had a lot of uh, the same coordinators were employed for this purpose and we found a lot of traction in both the national and international rankings now the practice was that the uh, the iqac coordinators are responsible and not only does the iqac uh, discuss various in issues of uh, interest with respect to collection and presentation of data but also devise strategies we are giving for the maintaining the quality and improvement like one thing that we found out was every course, campus of uh, every uh, school or campus had a newsletter but we found out that you know as a result of this the 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 uh, what should i say the perception was getting fragmented in the rankings because you uh, cochin we have a wonder we have a medical uh, campus which is supposed to be one of the best hospitals in asia amrita institute of medical sciences now uh, we were finding out aims had its own newsletter uh, coimbatore campus had its own newsletter and what was happening was that they were sending it to some people we were sending it and we found out that this process was somehow not uh, perception of rankings 
perception was getting fragmented so we made a decision that you know you individual campuses colleges can have newsletters but that will only for uh, internal stakeholder uh, distribution it was sent to their school parents and students but for outside contacts that is corporates or uh, industry or uh, government we started using only one university newsletter so the perception was uh, was uh, getting collated as far as the outside agencies are concerned so that fragmentation was removed and this is uh, you know this is a practice that was initiated by the iqsc another thing you know patenting there was no uniform policy individual colleges were doing something so now the iqsc brought in an idea that you know all the uh the patent cell could be, could be combined and that cell had unit so these kind of proactive uh interventions were done uh by uh, the iqac and the results we are able to really enjoy the results we are finding out we have been climbing the rankings now we are fourth in india in nirf last year we were uh, eight and we are climbing the rankings where every year in the last four years we have been the top private university and that is an indication that something has really worked and the mechanisms or processes are working international rankings also we are doing pretty well some rankings we come first some rankings we don't come first i think last week there was a ranking we didn't come first but 3 4 months back some international ranking we were number one private university so uh, we we are able to see that you know that process getting dovetailed and uh, this is also outcome is very so i wanted to use this as a case study so it's a very good um possibility that you have a single office for all this for all rankings accreditation so the iqsc can be the custodian of all data and all records and information and evidences and you can be the single point of contact the nodal agency for the statutory body uh, act for the regulatory body the ugc for the ranking authorities and the accreditation authority i think that's all from my side with respect to the case study Uh, thank you very much to Rajagiri Institutions. Thank you, Dr. Manoj Tarian, for inviting me uh, for this uh, event. Uh, I'll be happy to answer questions. I will request you to please, uh, 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 what is that? Moderate uh, for me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Prashant. Uh, I would request the participants to unmute their mic, and you can ask questions to Dr. Prashant. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor Simi. I got one question. Yes, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Kangachan from Rajagiri College yeah, of Engineering. Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Uh, do you, uh, with your wide experience, I got uh, uh, one question to ask. Yeah. Do you ever using any any uh, software as such for uh, your IQAC activity? Uh, no, actually, uh, there are some software providers, but this again, my personal experience is that I didn't find them to be very. Uh, useful. So what we are we we are only using uh, you know open source things like you know this Google Drive. And now I think uh, what I have done is I'm uh, you know in Microsoft uh, Microsoft uh, Office 365 uh, there is something called OneDrive. So I am now using a OneDrive uh, for all these uh, uh, data and evidences uh, sharing and selection. There are no separate software, only OneDrive. Earlier we used to use Google Drive, but then Google Drive there are some other issues, and there are not some concerns about uh, some security concerns are also there. And I believe there are one or two softwares in the market. I sorry, I that's my I personally didn't find them to be very. Uh, I mean they were good software, but the problem I'll tell you, my problem is, uh, it's not the software per se. it is the kind of the users of the software in certain cases it, the, the software works on periodical updates and periodical what should i say um uh, regular updates and all and uh, it's a major challenge making everybody and anybody able to uh, able to use that software so that was the major reason it was more of a people a people's issue that uh, you know i found it was easier to do with this one drive because one drive means 
everybody can uh, has got a office 365 account in sitting anywhere they can upload the evidences upload the data and i just have my own stuff my office staff will are very adept in what is what should i say doing that so my personal experience is i i didn't find those software to be very uh, useful because of the people issues that's my personal view sir it's not the institutional okay. view the final question i have is uh, amrita is having uh, two fields uh, medical as well as engineering yes sir you told you are centrally coordinating you have a two different system for maintaining the thing or which way it is coming up no actually we, no we are very multidisciplinary it is not only uh, medical and engineering we are actually multidisciplinary in fact uh, um, medical dental pharmacy nursing we have ayurveda we have uh, we have started an agricultural college in coimbatore last year 2019 agriculture has started so we are very multidisciplinary almost uh, all the faculties except law is now available all, all the other faculty and then maybe some humanities programs like this development economics uh, those kind of things are not there but other than that uh, almost every uh, discipline is available and uh, i believe that we have close to 200 plus programs we may be having uh, across seven faculties we have seven faculties so arts is there engineering media commerce everything is there but what do we do is that you know um, see uh, as far as medical is concerned there is a there is also a process of mci and all that the iqac is not involved uh, that is done uh, separately at the medical school but for all other purpose purposes uh, whether it is ugc and uh, nac and N narf and all we coordinate the medical aspects also in fact uh, medical college also last year i was uh, very actively involved and we came fifth in india in the rankings and i, I was the my, i mean my name only is the, the nodal officer i am not a medical faculty i am an engineering faculty so we coordinate on all the other aspects except this uh, medical council of india thing we do not uh, take care that is taken care by a uh, uh, senior professor uh, who because that's not our uh, what should i say uh, area we don't know much about that they, that they have the experienced people to do that uh, all other things we are only uh, centrally coordinating with respect to the uh, you know the ugc ac uh, ugc narf in nac and all okay thank you sir Thank you. So, do the participants have any other questions? So, Dr. Prashant Arnayer has indeed presented a very informative session on the role of IQAST in improving the teaching learning process, the research activities, the student employability, and the overall student life in the campus and that to using practical instances so on behalf of the iqac and the department of mechanical engineering rajagiri school of engineering and technology i express my heartfelt gratitude to dr prashant i am dr sini zaran sleba from the department of electronics and communication engineering thank you thank you sir Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Simi. Thank you, Dr. Manoj. I can see you. <laughs> one more. One more. I I would like to add on. Yeah. Dr. Prashant, when we were looking for a resource person who has the experience of working in IQAC and NIRF ranking, uh, we could find that you are the app person for the same, with so much of experience in one of the best universities. Uh, sir, you have been kind enough to accept our invitation in spite of your busy schedule. your sessions were very informative as uh, dr semi semi sirinsley by rightly said on behalf of uh, rajagiri school of engineering and technology and all the participants i express my sincere gratitude sir thank you very much sir thanks a lot yeah. sir yeah thank you very much sir. i have dropped my email uh, in the chat box it's very easy to find me uh, if you just google amrita prashant r nayar you will get my web, my website url and this thing You can e you can easily search me on Facebook also. You can follow me on Facebook. Just search for Prashant Arnayar. You'll get me. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, wish all the participants uh, all the best. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.